Well, wel welcome everyone. This is the diffusion MRI and traumatic brain injury workshop. And uh, we subtitled this Software Tools and International Shared Data Repository. So we'll have a chance to talk about m many of these topics. I, I think uh, Professor Lemke from the CARS Foundation would like to say a word of welcome. So. Yes, uh, thank you, Michael. Well, my name is Heinz Lemke. I represent the International Foundation of CARS, and uh, it is our pleasure to co-sponsor the TBI workshop, particularly because I, was, uh, I had the pleasure to participate in the first workshop in 2010 in Chicago, which, which also was run by Michael. And it was the most impressive uh, workshop. I learned lots from this. In particular, I remember the complexity which was discussed there about uh, traumatic brain injuries. And there was one group from San Francisco, they actually mentioned that some over 500 information entities need to be considered in order to make appropriate decision about the patient's future, make a prognosis. Is it going to be a chronic disease? Is it going to be acute, etc.? And that encourages us uh, at the CARS Foundation, also in ICAS, uh, to look into modeling aspects of this huge amount of information. What mathematical methods and IT tools can help to get some better understanding, transparency, and reproducibility about this enormous wealth of information. Unfortunately, I will not be able to participate in the workshop today. We have many other things running simultaneously. So all I can say, don't forget the patient modeling, the complexity about this. Don't forget about developing and thinking about standards of how to communicate these models. And then hopefully, Michael, if you do another workshop, uh, I have a chance to participate in reality with these sort of aspects. So have a good and a successful day. And don't forget Heidelberg and the beer and the wine for the rest of the week. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll just say a, a few words of uh, welcome of my own. Uh, you know, we're very fortunate the uh, response to invitations uh, for some of the outstanding speakers that we have today was uh, uh, very gratifying and impressive. And we have to thank our sponsors. Uh, you know, a number of uh, uh, different organizations have uh, chosen to uh, help uh, support this, this effort. You know, this is particularly uh, important point in time where there are emergence of uh, new repositories, data repositories, uh, one in the US called Fitbeer, which we'll learn more about, and another in TBIR uh, from the European Commission that uh, make available uh, collections of traumatic brain injury data sets for uh, qualified researchers. And we thought this was a wonderful opportunity to bring together the community of uh, software tool developers with the experts in traumatic brain injury to try and accelerate the progress uh, toward the goal of moving uh, some of these laboratory tools uh, into uh, clinical practice and also to realize the research opportunities that uh, these repositories could offer. And uh, this is, uh, to my knowledge, the first time that many of the experts in uh, software tools have uh, been confronted with these specific issues. So hopefully as we explore these today, we'll uh, learn together uh, how we can actually achieve the goals of uh, making rapid progress. You know, all of this is stimulated by the fact that we have clinically available uh, high quality MR scanners and protocols that allow us to collect uh, DTI multidirectional data in uh, clinically realistic times, a few minutes, and also uh, can collect uh, 3D anatomical atlas uh, type data from individuals. And uh, in the neuroscience literature, there have been uh, some contributions that have uh, reviewed the many available software packages for diffusion tensor imaging, uh, overwhelming majority of which were not developed with traumatic brain injury specific in mind, although there's clear application. I think uh, an arch-typical application is to take a 
canonical anatomic atlas, a, some sort of parcellation of the brain into the, all of the identifiable substructures, and then being able to separately quantify, if you will, uh, diffusivity and anisotropy measurements uh, within each of these subregions. We'll see this uh, over and over again in some of the applications. There's also the, been the recent publication this year of uh, things like uh, papers like this one, uh, which looked in a multicenter uh, trial at three-month outcomes in mild uh, TBI. So uh, this is uh, kind of an important new precedent and kind of uh, is necessary to assemble the evidence uh, that's required to introduce uh, any types of testing into clinical practice. We also have the authors here from uh, what appeared on the cover of radiology in, in April, their uh, quantitative diffusion tractography in uh, traumatic brain injury patients. And uh, this is a very important uh, contribution which has attracted uh, broad uh, interest. And then we have uh, also the uh, authors and uh, experienced investigators from this unique uh, government industry partnership for developing workstation tools for traumatic uh, brain injury from American College of Radiology, Siemens, and, and uh, Department of Defense. Uh, there's an uh, expert here on uh, cloud computing and uh, the software systems that support that uh, from Computation Institute at Argonne National Lab and University of Chicago, so we can learn about uh, this uh, substrate for uh, software as a service. Uh, subsequent to this meeting, there are other meetings as well, which we can feed into, and one important meeting is uh, being organized by the Institute of Medicine to look at the development of standards for these uh, data sets and trying to uh, achieve for the neuroscience community the ability to interoperate effectively and efficiently. Uh, and this is all in a, a CD. As a matter of fact, we've prepared a CD with many documents that serve as background for what we're discussing today. And uh, I've distributed some. If you don't have them, uh, please stop by and I'll be sure that you uh, get one uh, of these uh, CDs. So with that uh, said, I think we should go expeditiously to our first uh, speaker.